It's time for another episode of the Elm Hill City Zoo and this time we are finally back at our reptile house where we'll build a new indoor enclosure for the American alligators. I would like to dedicate this video to the amazing Planet Zoo dev team. Stay tuned to know why. Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates. And welcome back to my channel! No, your eyes are not fooling you, this is really happening, we are finally back in the reptile house in the Elm Hill City Zoo to work on a new exhibit. Uh, and this one will be for the American alligators. The amount of questions that I got from you guys about the reptile house and what will be the next animal that will add to the reptile house and so on was just crazy. So it's finally time to go back to it and add another animal, the American alligator. I actually have quite a solid explanation on why you guys had to log wait for so long. Uh, and uh, overall, I have so many things that I want to mention in this video, very important things uh, that I just hope I'll have a time for it. Uh, but firstly, let's talk about the habitat. Let's talk about the things that we'll be doing in today's video. So let's briefly talk about the reptile house because it's been a while since I've built anything for it. The reptile house is probably my favorite building that I've built in Planet Zoo ever. Uh, you could see a little sneak peek of it in the uh, intro to the video in case you haven't seen that before. Uh, it is inspired by Berlin Zoo and their aquarium and reptile house. Uh, and we by this time added four different reptiles to it. We have the water monitor, we have the gharials, we have the saltwater crocodile and we have the alligators now. So we are sort of in the middle of the road of creating it because there are still four different habitat reptiles coming and of course a lot of the exhibit animals including for example the new Herman Sturtis that I just love. In the middle of the entire building there is this like uh, crocodile river that we are finishing today. It is sort of like a walkthrough exhibit for, exhibit for the guests. Uh, the guests enter this like controlled environment, this like jungle uh, that is very inspired by Berlin Zoo. Uh, you just walk in there and you cross this little bridge uh, over the exhibits of different crocodiles, crocodilians and so on. In Berlin Zoo they only have one bridge and here we'll have two because of you know more reptiles and the space requirements for animals in Planet Zoo. They need quite a lot of space to be able to uh, like move around the exhibits. Of course they are a bit too small for their needs in the game but uh, I think that realistically those uh, exhibits would work just fine. Uh, so we have this like river that is floating through three like separate habitats. Uh, they are all connected by this water section. So those habitats are really like similar but I still wanted to make them you look unique. Uh, oh, they all have different land sections like for example the gharials have the land section on the uh, left hand side then the saltwater crocodile has the land section on both sides of the river and now we are building uh, the, uh, the habitat for the alligator where the land section will be on the right hand side so I just wanted to make them look a bit unique and yeah in case you ha guys haven't seen that haven't seen the garial habitat for example where we started this whole river where we, we created the first bridge i'll put the link to this video down in the description and on the screen right now so you can go and check it out to see uh, like the whole basics of how it is all built like i mean the walls and the glass roof and everything like in between uh, i'll also put the link down to the uh, to the saltwater crocodile habitat because this is the previous episode from the uh, from the reptile house in case you guys haven't seen that and now it is time to finish the river with uh, adding the American alligators uh, I just realized that it is so cool that we have actually three different species of crocodilians in there we have the gharials from Asia we have the saltwater crocodile from Australia and now we have the alligator from uh, the North uh, America so the guests can really see this diverse world of the crocodilians just by walking through this uh, exhibit which is so cool now that I think about this. Uh, so yeah this habitat was really inspired by the ones that I did already but uh, as I told you I wanted to uh, like do some twists and turns and stuff like that to make it look uh, unique. Uh, so I added the land section as I told you and on the right hand side I also created a waterfall that you'll see uh, later in the video. Uh, so this river has like a start somewhere so 
it begins with this waterfall. I wanted to go for like a very subtle waterfall that would be just water really dripping from some stones and so on, but uh, it is sort of hard to do in Planet Zoo because all of those VFXs are really intense. What helps it a bit is like changing the color of the water in the VFX. You can actually do it. I, I learned that not long ago, actually. I didn't know about this, but yeah, I've learned that not long ago, and I think that that way it looks a bit less intense. What I also did it was build, for example, a little cave for them uh, to... Uh, with the little heat lump uh, so they can go there and bask in the light. Uh, there will be three alligators in this enclosure. Alligators are often living in bigger groups in zoos and uh, different facilities. Uh, we will have three females in here and I think that this uh, habitat is just perfect for three of them. It looks amazing. In Berlin Zoo they actually also have more crocodiles living in those exhibits and they also have them mixed with some turtles, uh, which I thought it was super cool. We unfortunately don't have any like habitat swimming turtles it would be so amazing to have them but uh, unfortunately it is not the case from for right now uh, but yeah this is basically all when it comes to the exhibit and now we come to more like a serious stuff that i really wanted to share you share with you guys there will be some uh, mental health talk in here uh, like if you are sensitive to those topics sorry but i think that sharing stuff like that is really important and that's why I wanted to talk with you guys. I know that this video is making a very like uh, rapid turn right now but let me explain. As I told you in the intro, this entire video is dedicated to the amazing uh, dev team of Planet Zoo as well as the influencer team and now it's the time for some explanation. So. This is basically the second time that I am building this enclosure, unfortunately. Right after the anniversary of Planet Zoo, so it was at the beginning of November after building my peccary habitat, uh, I decided to go back to the reptile house and build this. Uh, so I did just that and I have almost finished the entire habitat. I wanted to load in once more to do some like finishing touches to it and record the uh, cinematic shots and so on. And suddenly the game crashed. Uh, why loading the zoo and I was like okay what is going on I tried once again it crashed again I tried millions times more and it crashed million times more uh, and mind you that every attempt to load in the LCD zoo took about like 15 to 20 minutes so it was a long time like wasted for that and of course I am doing my save files after and like ending like finishing all the builds uh, but the one for this build didn't want to load in I tried everything I could think of back at this time I was still able to load into the file when I was just before building this habitat so I decided okay I am not able to load in something probably happened uh, let me rebuild this I didn't want to rebuild this at all but this was the solution that I just could think of back then. But before rebuilding this, I took some measures to prevent hap this happening again. So uh, I thought that, okay, maybe the zoo is getting too big. Maybe there are too many animals. Maybe something else happened. So what I did, I was actually sell all the animals from the zoo so that the performance would be better. I also turned off the climbable things for all the things because it also like messes up the, uh, the performance. Uh, uh, this is what I did before starting to build this again and this is the second attempt that you guys can see here I am basically rebuilding the things that I already did uh, it was quite so frustrating but uh, this was the only solution that I could think of and okay I decided okay I am doing it I am rebuilding the entire habitat it took me like three building sessions everything was all right everything was like loading as normal uh, I had better performance than ever because there were no any animals so I was basically thinking like okay maybe Maybe it was even better than it was, although I still think that my first attempt on this habitat was better than this one. Uh, but I finished the entire habitat and uh, what I did was even, you know, added the speed build. I recorded the entire like uh, voiceover for the video and I wanted to load in once again to record the, uh, the cinematic shots and the intro for the video. And guess what? The game crashed. It crashed again and it crashed once more and once more and I couldn't load in again to the Elm Hill City Zoo. By this time I was like really panicking. I was just telling to myself, okay, it is done. 
uh, something is wrong with this file. Probably I just added too many pieces. There's like a piece limit that the game is not able to process anymore. And this is a very, really bad way of like ending the Elm Hill City Zoo. And it actually triggered a lot of bad things in me, unfortunately. What I'm about to tell you right now is not to make you feel bad for me or anything. I just think it is important to share things like that because there's a lot of people that are dealing with uh, mental health issues and I know that, you know, knowing that there's someone else dealing with the same things is really helpful. It was for me uh, back when I had a lot of issues when I was younger. Like there was a lot of anxiety in my life back then. Uh, there was a lot of feelings that I am not good enough, that there's nothing I am good at. Uh, but lately I was really doing fine. Like uh, I was doing actually amazing. A lot of things were really like going well in my life. I had this amazing channel on YouTube. I have amazing personal life. I have amazing work life and everything was uh, like super good, but losing the save file because but I thought that it is gone. I just, I just, you know, assumed the worst that it is done, that uh, the file got corrupted or that there's like a certain peace limit and we have to say goodbye to the Elm Hill City Zoo. Uh, this along with some other things that happened in my personal life, life uh, I had a lot of work about this time and, and it sort of led to a very bad situation for me. I was basically dealing once more with a lot of anxiety and uh, a lot of bad thoughts and uh, I don't know I just don't want to make you f f seem like I am an adult who is just you know panicking and losing his mind over a save file of a zoo in a computer game because it sort of like looks like it but let me just tell you that the Elm Hill City Zoo over time it became like my sort of like a safe space that I invested so much time and effort and my personal life and uh, everything into. Like my channel overall it became such a huge validation because of your comments, because of uh, how amazing the things were in here, how am are, are and are still in here. Because of this, this great sense of community and I just love, I just love doing this. Losing the Elm Hill City Zoo, it sort of made me feel like there's no point in continuing my channel. I like it was sort of like, OK, this is a, sort of like a thing that people are coming back to because under all of my videos, when I upload something different, like from the Jurassic World Evolution 2, for example, or from any other series or anything, there are always questions like when will be the new episode of the Elm Hill City Zoo, when the Elm Hill City Zoo is going back and so on. Uh, so losing that and having to tell you guys that this Elm Hill City Zoo will probably not being able to be continued. I don't know, it triggered really like a panic attack, sort of like an anxiety thing in me that I was sort of like thinking of finishing the entire channel and I don't know, it was really bad. I am now completely over it, everything is fine, everything is well with me, so you guys don't need to worry. But let's go back to our story. Uh, so when it didn't work for a second time, I tried literally everything. Uh, if you think of a solution for this problem, I probably did that. I just tried to, you know, change the settings of my computer, change the settings of the game, uh, do stuff like, I don't know, send the file to my friends who have maybe better computers, uninstalling the game, installing it again. I tried literally everything, but nothing was helping. I was, I think, dealing with, uh, with it for like a week or something, trying to load in constantly. Uh, the Desert Adventure park were still working at this time so I was building the this huge savannah enclosure by this time having all this anxiety and things thinking constantly about the the Elm Hill City Zoo and thinking of a solutions on how to fix it but I couldn't do it while trying to fix it I actually think that something got messed up even more because I couldn't load to some of the previous files uh, I basically lost the peccary habitat I used the entire wonders of Oceania so I I was so angry, I was so panicking, like, and yeah, when I just basically lost hope and I was trying thinking of the ways of 
basically saying goodbye to the Elm Hill City Zoo, I thought that my last resort would probably be Frontier. I just thought to myself, okay, maybe let's try it. Let's try to contact them. Maybe their a miracle will happen and they will find a solution. But I was assuming that they will say just, you know, uh, sorry, we cannot help you. The, the zoo is too big or something else happened. The file is corrupted. We are so sorry for this. Uh, okay, bye. We have other stuff to do because uh, it was a time when uh, the release of the Eurasia Animal Pack was just, you know, upon us and also uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in Frontier so I was like basically contacting them wouldn't make any difference but I was so mistaken. Oh my god, Frontier is basically the best gaming studio in the world because right away uh, I contacted Kat who is an influencer manager. She was co so concerned about this. She was like, uh, oh, I need to help you. I will contact the dev team. I My email was very sobby and like... <laughs> hysterical so maybe this also helps uh, but she contacted the dev team and they just went to work trying to fix it right away and uh, they were of course asking for a lot of details I've sent them my save file they were working on it uh, they actually thought that they found a solution and uh, update for the game the update 1.16 that was released along with the new new DLC it contained something for me to try to fix this issue but unfortunately it didn't work and I sort of lost hope. I just thought, okay, so this is officially the end of the Elm Hill City Zoo. Uh, I need to say goodbye. I need to tell you guys that this series is over because even though I was able to, you know, load into some previous file, I was just afraid that if I will add anything, it will just repeat and it will be crashing again and towards the point of doing those builds uh, without being able to save them. So. Uh, I was basically just, I just lost hope. I was in such a bad mood when the Eurasia Animal Pack came out because I, I was sort of hoping that it will fix my problems, but it didn't. Uh, my big secret is that I actually recorded and uh, built the swan habitat and the wolverine habitat in one of my like very old files of the Elm Hill City Zoo. So I was trying my best not to show you guys a lot like, around those habitats because there were some other newer habitats missing in there uh, so you guys didn't know about this but this is what I sort of did <laughs> just to be able to build for those animals during the early access and so on so yeah at this time I basically told them that it didn't work they said that they will try to find a different solution but I was just sort of like okay they tried and probably it won't work so I was sort of like making peace with that the Elm Hill City Zoo will be finishing I was trying to uh, to come up with the way to tell you guys about this uh, I actually started to write a script for like a sort of like a goodbye video goodbye Elm Hill City Zoo or anything like that and suddenly this Tuesday I get a mail from Katmei from Frontier with a, a solution that was basically created for me by the dev team uh, like an individual update and with an instruction of how to install it that I did right away and guess what the Elm Hill City Zoo opened right right away. The save file was saved. <laughs> basically, I was I I don't remember being this happy. <laughs> I was basically dancing in front of my PC, like being so incredibly happy that it actually worked. So I am so help thankful to Frontier. You are just the best, guys. You are really the best. Thank you so so much for helping me, for you know not ignoring me, for taking your time to uh, work on the solution it took them over one month to fix that <laughs> so this probably took much time while you being already busy about you know being invested in the new update and the dlc so thank you i am so grateful i should probably build like a monument in the zoo for you guys or anything like that so yeah i would like to officially announce that the elm hill city zoo will continue there will be new episodes there's this episode in here because of the dev team and thanks to them uh, because I thought that I lost this build and it is here so uh, once again thank you so so 
know so much plans your team for all, all the things that you've done to me i thanks to that i am able to you know continue with this series and there's nothing better than this feeling so thank you so 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 much this also explains why there was no plans to videos for a while on my channel uh, why i focus more on on the uh, jurassic world evolution 2 and also uh, the early access for the dlc of the new cretaceous predator pack that i got it's sort of like a was a saving grace for me because it was i i was given this early access in the worst possible time uh, and it sort of helped me not to think about those things and just to focus on recording those videos so uh, thank you for that frontier as well <laughs> it was a really a saving grace for me uh, okay guys what i also wanted to tell you in this video is that we are so close to 26,000 subscribers and if you will be able to hit that before the year ends that would be so amazing that would be a best gift for me for christmas or for new year's so so i would really appreciate you clicking that subscribe button and also merry christmas happy holidays to everyone who is celebrating i hope you'll have an amazing time with your families i hope you will rest i hope you uh, will be just you know joyful and you know have the best time of your lives this is always such a warm time and uh, yeah everyone loves christmas right uh, okay guys so this is all when it comes to this video i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already ring the bell if you want to be notified every time i upload a new video give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and of course uh, leave me a nice comment uh, tell me what you think about this build thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one bye guys